it's a Raven Concealment Kydex holster. And from there, you have just your standard Kydex in the waistband. Now, I'll carry a holster in the waistband, appendix style, with a full size gun. I go, fuck, it works. But I don't carry in the waistband a lot. This one here is by M3 Tactical Kydex. I actually won this in the Big Tank Co. giveaway on Instagram. Uh, I'm really happy that I won that. I won a lot of stuff. I'm pretty excited. And this was one thing I won was the M3 Tactical Kydex in the waistband holster for a Glock 22 or a Glock 17 left-handed. Real thin, uh, flexible. This would be good to wear with thin thin, thin pants, even gym shorts if, if that's what you're doing. If, if you're going to carry a gun in the gym, th this would work. So after learning about Kydex, uh, came the M3 Tactical in, in the waistband holster. Now actually, I just won this. So I'm kind of out of order here, but this is just your basic in the waistband Kydex holster. Option two, and that's their logo. Then, or before that, but for the sake of the story, I won a raffle by Miller Tactical Group Kydex. MTG, check them out on Instagram. Um, it was a raffle for DRF training, downrange firearms training. The owner, Matt DeVito, had a tragedy. So we all banded together and did this raffle. Not only the raffle, there's a bunch of other fundraisers as well. Well, I won a into waistband holster uh, made by Miller Tactical Group Kydex. And it was just supposed to be a basic into waistband holster. Well, I told him, I said, listen, uh, I probably won't use it unless it can hold a light. Because I'm not going to take my light off to carry in the waistband. So he said, all right, I'll, uh, I'll make you one for a light. thing is, though, you have to be my, my test bunny. Um, I'll make it for the Streamlight TLR1 HL, which is the light that I have. TLR1 HL. So he said he'd make it for it, and uh, he'd send it to me. And before he marketed it, I'd give him any tips, tricks, hints, or anything that I found wrong with it. And... I'll say one thing, Miller Tactical Group Kydex is right there with Raven Concealment. Awesome quality. He uses thick Kydex. It's not very flexible. Um, retention is spot on. Uh, just, I mean, you can just tell. Fit and finish. I mean, it's molded well. It's thought through. The edges are perfectly smooth. I mean, it's a great holster. This is giving a run in quality with Raven Concealment. This is the only thing that I've found giving Raven Concealment uh, a go, alright? So, now I've learned about in the waistband with my light, so now I'm, I'm set. Uh, I will say I carry it on my hip, but in the waistband, if I want to wear a tighter shirt, I mean, I can conceal a full-size Glock, Glock 22 with the Streamlight TLR1 HL, no problem, on my hip. And uh, also no problem appendix. So all of you people who are saying you need to carry a small Glock, a small gun, it's it, it's bullshit. Because I'm not okay. I understand if you're a smaller guy, if you're 135 pounds, I'm 220, so I can conceal this no problem. And I know guys smaller than me that can conceal this no problem. The smaller the gun, the less likely you're going to be able to properly draw it. Now, yeah, if you have a smaller gun in a nice Kydex holster on your hip, you're going to be able to draw it a lot easier, I can tell you that. Um, in the waistband, though, it's going to be hard. And all these in the waistband holsters with the body guards and the suede, this, and the super tough 2000, like an $80 holster, I've seen people not draw to save their life. They can't draw the gun to save their life. And... In this world, you have to draw the gun to save your life, so <laughs> double entendre, I guess. Um, 
So that's my holster experience. Now my mag carrier experience. Um, I'll say sheath. Sheath also. I've, I've shown this before. This is a Miller Tactical Group for the Co uh, Boker Ridgeback, the Bill Coy design. Bill Coy Ridgeback. Boker uh, is working with them, and they made the Boker Ridgeback, which Boker is a great knife company, but it's cheaper than the Bill Coy Originals. This is a Miller Tactical Group Kydex sheath that he made for me. Um, sheath is awesome. Much better than the standard sheath that comes with, I can tell you that. Alright, so now, mag carriers, uh, one of my favorites. Now this isn't TCW, but this is the High Speed Gear International Taco. These are great all around mag carriers, okay. Um, one thing I like better than these is the Kydex mag carriers. Now I won this uh, in a giveaway on Instagram. This is by Battle Holsters, and I'll I'll, I'll put a link uh, on here somewhere. Battle Holsters. This is good quality stuff. This is like Miller Tactical. Really thick, good Kydex. It's molded beautifully. I mean, he uses the uh, Molly clips or the, whatever they are, Malice Molly. Um, for the belt loops, it's contoured really nice for your body. Um, so you can carry the AR mags closer to you, like at the range. They don't stick out, you're not getting them hung up on stuff. Uh, so Battle Holsters is another great company. They have good quality products. Unfortunately, I only have experience with their mag carriers for the AR, which I won this in a giveaway, and I'm very pleased with it. I use it at the range all the time. Then you're getting into my favorite, the Raven Concealment Kydex Mag Carriers. Once again, they contour to your body, they fit perfectly, perfect retention, uh, they're not bulky, I mean they're amazing. Uh, so I just wanted to touch on mag carriers because they kind of go with the holsters. Um, if you're going to carry a gun, you need to carry at least one spare magazine. Um, not saying for malfunctions because those are, I don't want to I don't want to get criticized for saying this, but they're rare. I have never had it, had a malfunction in my Glock. It can happen, yes, I know shit happens at the worst times, I understand that. But for reloading, for a tactical reload, like when I train, I'll do a tactical reload to refill my ammo supply. Well, I feel that if I'm in a shootout, I'm in a self-defense situation, I'm going to... Uh, per training, do a tactical reload. And if I don't have a mag there, then maybe I'll drop that mag is currently in my gun and now I have no ammo. I don't know. Um, but always one magazine for speed reload, tactical reload, or if you have a malfunction, double feed, strip it, rack, 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 gas it up and go. Uh, so one magazine is always good. Plus, it, if somebody's carrying the same gun as you and they need a mag, but you're full, you give them a mag. So, that's me. I like to carry, I'll carry two spare magazines, but at least one, okay? Um, I'm not sure why I was holding that like that. But, in some nation, there's a lot of holsters. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff, a lot of garbage, a lot of good ideas, but just bad application. I mean, there's your standard in the industry, the SERPA. Um, these are my experiences. Take them as you will. Uh, but th these are my experiences. This is what I've found works. Um, so I'll just uh, leave it at that. And uh, at the end here, I'll, I'll show you my number one choice and the reason. All right, now, I've showed you all these holsters. You've heard my opinions about them, but as I said, on the totem pole of life, my opinion is just below horse shit. So take it as you will, like I always say. But all joking aside, all bullshit aside, my opinions have worked for me, and I'm pr pretty good at shooting. I'm pretty good at drawing. A lot of people ask me for help, and that's kind of why I'm on YouTube because Instagram blew up. Uh, people were telling me, "Hey, man, I like seeing your your little videos on Instagram." make a YouTube channel, make longer videos, uh, you know, and I, 
took their advice and I'm glad I did because you know I have fun fun doing this and you know I have some experiences that I like to share and products that work for me and I'm not you know a high-speed operator I'm just a normal guy and this stuff works for me so here's all the bullshit here right got all these holsters all, all this stuff well I'm just gonna sort it out for you real quick right now on what you need to have there it is the no bullshit you need to have a Miller tactical group in the waistband if you're going to carry in the waistband okay the way I carry is Raven Concealment Light Carrying Holster Raven Concealment Phantom LC Holster 1.75 inch normal belt loops because I carry a 1.75 inch wide belt boom on your hip directly on your hip not at 4 o'clock, not at 5 o'clock, not at 1 o'clock, not at 2 o'clock at 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock depending on what hand you are Two mag carriers Raven concealment okay I don't know if they call these the phantom mag carriers whatever but they're low they're high speed low drag right this one I carry towards my ass this one I carry towards my pocket it's got this cut it lets your leg bend easier that's what I carry every day that's what I'm going to keep carrying every day and nobody will change my mind about it it works for me I have no, no problems drawing, I have no problems reholstering, I have no problems reloading. And everybody who buys all that bullshit that I just threw on the ground, all of them stumble with their holsters. Maybe it's lack of training, but they all stumble with the holster, they can't get it back in there, and they look like shit. And I tell them, good holster. Along with the holster, I see people all the time, great holster, but a shitty belt. This is a 511 operator's belt. I mean, it's rigid. You can barely bend it. With a shitty belt and a good holster, you're back to shit again. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's also a good belt. This is the Tactical Taylor Riggers belt. It's a good quality belt, but unfortunately, this isn't really made for guns. This is made for hanging out of a helo or holding up your uniform. It's not much of a good gun belt. But the 511 operator belt is great. No leather belt is going to beat this, in my opinion, and it works for me. It's awesome. So this is what you need. Yes, there are substitutes to this. Bravo, Concealment, all that Miller Tactical Group is the only other brand that I would carry besides Raven Concealment and it's the brand that I do carry in my light bearing in the waistband appendix carry holster these are the two styles that I carry this is the main style there's no reason you can't conceal a gun on your hip it's not hard there's the exception if you're females and if you're a smaller guy you know I get it but normal person this is what you need I'm just going to cut straight through all the bullshit that's what you need carry on the hip carry on the hip like a cop carry on the hip like well not like military they carry drop like if they even carry a, a pistol so forget that but carry on the hip you can conceal it don't wear tight ass girls clothes and you can conceal it just fine all right guys that's all I've got uh, sorry that kind of turned into a rant but you know what I'm not sorry there's a lot of places selling just garbage ideas, garbage holsters, and you know what, I fell into that trap when I first started, and I wish I would have just went and spent the money for a, a good holster, a Raven Concealment, a Miller Tactical Group Hydex. Um, Miller Tactical Group really surprised me, I mean awesome, awesome quality, um, awesome guy, awesome company, they support uh, Second Amendment rights, the Constitution. Check them out on Instagram, uh, Miller Tactical Group. Um, give them a follow. Um, if you buy one of their products, you won't be sorry. Uh, but as far as carrying on the hip, 
wearing a shirt that fits you, not the girl girl shirts a lot of people wear. I guess it is kind of tight, but even, either way. Can you see my gun? I'll try that. Can you really see it? You might be able to see it because you know it's there. Is it a big deal? No. Walking around, nobody's number one walking around stores. Nobody's watching you. Nobody gives a fuck about you. In the aspect that people don't pay attention. I mean, people do not know what's around them. So, I mean, they're not going to see your gun. And you really can't see it. It holds it really close to the body. And, I mean, it's just a nice, natural draw position. Alright guys, that about wraps it up. Uh, we're on today, my grunt style shirt, American flag, nice little engraving, or writing on the back. Grunt style, awesome product. They're on Instagram too, check them out. Grunt style, I'll, I'll put a link somewhere around there. Tactical Taylor hat, Miller Tactical Group, patch. Make sure to check them out, awesome products. I back them 100%. So, hope you liked the video. I know it kind of turned into a rant, but that's just my opinions and they work for me. So, they'll probably work for you.